I just dropped the boy off at school and I walked him into class and I'm just so proud of him. He put his lunch away, put his bag away, and then walked over and sat in the chair and they were all like singing ABC stuff. I don't know, you never really get to see the class. So it was just really awesome to just, I just lurked in the background and just watched them. Today's a big day. It's Steven's 50th birthday and he wants to have dinner with the kids and so I said of course I want to celebrate also I'm filming a podcast with Steven on it where he's making amends to all those he may have harmed with like his pretty radical videos he was making last year on my morning serenity walk let's just get grateful for all that we have you guys yummy <laughs> I'm about 15 minutes away from, oh my God, I don't like this anymore. I'm just having a lot of anxiety right now um, because I don't know, I'm just, I feel so conflicted. I believe in people righting their wrongs. I want Steven to do well. I want him to thrive. He's expressed a lot of regret and remorse over a lot of the content that he put out last year. Um, and so I agreed to let him express that on my podcast. Literally five minutes ago, I get a message from a girl saying that she's being doxxed by him, an ex-girlfriend, and that she's had to like private her accounts. And I don't know. I don't know what's happening because I don't, I haven't been going on his page. I just get this message. I just feel so conflicted because he's the father of my children. I still love him. I see his good heart. And then I also see this really self-destructive side and I don't know what's going on. I, I don't want to believe that he is doxing someone right now. I don't want to believe that. I don't know. Maybe I should not be doing this podcast. Maybe this is none of my business. Maybe this is me not having strong boundaries and just wanting, I want everything to be okay. I want us to co-parent peacefully. I want us to be friends and love our kids together and live a mile apart and him thrive and me thrive and our kids thrive. And I want them to feel loved and safe. And I want them to feel that we are still a united front, even though we're not together and that we're not working against each other and that we're both good people doing good things in the world. And that's all I want. That's all I want. Is that so hard? But I can't control that. I can't control what he does and what he says. And I can't control that. I just, now I'm going, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I involving myself in this? Why aren't I just making comedy videos and having my friends on and letting him do his thing and just finalizing this divorce and just not feeling responsible. I feel responsible for him. I feel responsible for his well-being and I want him to do well and I see so much good in him and it pains me to see this destructive behavior and I don't know. I don't even know what to to say at this point. Like I have to go. My DP, amazing DP Chris has been sitting in there for an hour and a half setting up who Steven offended terribly and really hurt Chris who's gay. Um because of some of the content Stephen made last year. Like, so it's just so much, there's so much. And I feel like I'm not handling this in the right way. And, but it's all fucking out there. So before you, you say, oh, well, why are you talking about it online? It's all out there. And so, I don't know. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. How's your acai bowl? Delicious. Really? It's really, really good. Yay, <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you for that. Yeah, of course. Um, you look amazing. Do I? Yeah. It's so funny. I was going to change. I couldn't decide on this dress if it washes me out or not, but maybe check on camera yep. and I can just like change. Um, trying not to freak out. <laughs> there he is. He just walked by. <laughs> but you know, I'm just wanting to, like I believe in people writing their wrongs. Mm -hmm. And that's what, you know, he's expressed a Is lot of... Is that what he's going to do? Uh, yeah. There's a lot of wrongs he would have to write for me to be okay if I'm being honest. There's a lot of wrongs you have to write. There's a lot of wrongs. There's many. <laughs> I want you to feel comfortable expressing those to him if you want. In whatever way. Like, yeah. we'll just see, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Am I washed out? 
I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, like. Am I a sad beige <laughs> bitch? I think it looks good, but it is all like one like monochromatic now. I think it's kind of nice, but if you want it to pop, you'd want definitely Color. something like sort of opposite of like yellow or pink, something is like blue or kind of like Kardashian right. of you. <laughs> right. And like, I'll just do the whole interview like this. Hello. Hi. Oh, did you ask me for a coffee? Oh, shit. What? The door handle. <laughs> Do you know who did that? Yeah, I got an idea. What? Yep. How? Oh, that how? I don't even know. You need that little thing that that uh, will tighten it up. Yeah. I guess I hide it. Happy fiftieth. <laughs> Thank you. It's Steven's fiftieth birthday. It's hey right. man, how's it how's going? Good? How do you feel? All right. All right. Yeah. Whichever, whichever. Yeah. One take one, see Mark? Oh, oh yeah, you wanna- That was intense. Yeah. How do you think that went? I thought that was really good. I mean, uh, whenever I feel sick, they, it tends to be a good bit of content. Then it must be great, because I felt nauseous. Me, I felt sick through the whole thing. I'm gonna vomit over all over everyone. Yeah, I would release all that. I'll release all the truth. If there's anything you said that's like political, right? I thought that was good because I it was wrong. That was the most intense podcast I've ever done in my life. Puppy. Can you give us a daddy and say happy birthday? Give us a daddy and say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh my god, thank you, honey! Oh, can I have a hug? Oh. And a kiss? Oh, flowers! Thank you, honey, I really appreciate that. I smell! You smell mm. nice! That's a pink flower! Hi, Katie! Oh, that's coming, Alfie, but first, Daddy needs his noodles. Thank you, honey. Oh my goodness, Alfie, let me see. I did give them to me. Happy birthday, Will Daddy. You... Oh, I love it. Oh. Poppy and Alfie, little yeah. birthday cake. Oh, it's Poppy. Yeah. It's Poppy. Poppy drawing. Poppy drawing. And there's another one from Poppy. Mm -hmm. I love you, darling. This is so yummy. Say, Cheers for me. Cheers for daddy. Okay, Alfie, are you ready to bring it into daddy? Ready, set, poppy, let's sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear daddy. Can you help me blow, blow, and uh, one, two, three. <gasps> blow, two, three. <gasps> Yay! Yeah! Did you make a wish? Oh, make a I wish. Yay! You each get a cupcake. Happy birthday. Thank you, honey.